Okay, today's one of my personal project days, and uh, what I'm trying to do is create the ultimate vlogging camera. And, you know, I, I picked up this Olympus Pen EPL8, and I've, I had my eye on it before, and I, I put a bid on it on eBay, and I totally forgot about it, and then I get this notification in my email that uh, I won. So I got this uh, PL8 basically for about 200 bucks, uh, practically brand new. Uh, in any case, um, what I'm shooting with today is I, I wanted to also make this as cheap as possible. So I put the 15 millimeter uh, body cap lens on here that I got for $30. And then I also purchased the EMA1 microphone adapter and attached a $3 microphone to the top of the camera. So if you saw my last video, I, this is, I'm just kind of rehashing that a little bit. Uh, but I just wanted you to know if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, what, what my setup is. You know, when you watch other videos with people uh, testing the image stabilization on cameras, you know, like, like I've said before, those guys are really professional vloggers and I think they've nailed uh, walking with a camera. Even without image stabilization, they can really make it smooth. And, you know, I don't have a lot of experience vlogging, so this should be pretty representative of, you know, if you just bought this camera or thinking about buying a camera and go out, uh, what you can expect. So I'm going to try and do a couple of different things like uh, smooth out my walking a little bit. Like, let me try that now. If I do a slight catwalk and I'm walking along, hopefully that's a little better. But, uh, you know, when I did my last video, I was walking on very uneven ground. So the video was very jerky and uh, there was a lot of uh, ambient sound as well uh, from the traffic nearby. So fortunately this park doesn't have a lot of car traffic, but it is, if I haven't mentioned it, you know, under some of the traffic lanes for the airport here over at uh, Reagan National. Now I'm going into the main entrance here of the fort. Okay. And let's see what there is to see. Okay, I'm gonna pan around smoothly as I can. And again, I am with image stabilization on. Okay, it's be interesting to see how it handles the dynamic range because looking on the back of the screen, there's hardly uh, anything showing through the windows. It's just blown out. But what happens when I move in a little closer. Okay, very nice smooth transition to uh, the proper exposure. And I feel like this 15 millimeter lens is the appropriate uh, focal length for vlogging, which is a 30 millimeter equivalent, but with the image stabilization on, you lose a couple of millimeters, so it's probably closer to a 35 millimeter equivalent in practice, okay, which is the 35 millimeter or full frame equivalent. I found this interesting little tunnel here, so we'll get a picture of this. And I've been using the uh, Sepia R filter, grainy, and black and white, so um, seems appropriate for this this uh, part. I'm gonna walk down here and see what's going on down here. This is a uh, really, really steep these stairs. And it'd probably be wise to switch arms and uh, hold the handle, right? Okay, let's do that. Follow me down here. This this will give you a good idea of the stabilization as I'm going down stairs and how things look. But uh, I don't know what's down here. I, I thought originally maybe they were for horse stables, but then, you know, horses wouldn't go up these steps, right? <laughs> okay. That's, uh, I'm gonna pan around here for a second, okay? There's a little bit of an echo in here. But we should get some interesting shots, I think. All right, let's 
see what's in here. This old broken tool. This is uh, it's got a little door inside of a big door. Inside beats me. It is really tall. Okay, now I have the, uh, the uh, microphone. I took it off the camera and I put it onto my shirt here. And I just wanted to see how this sounds now because this is really the way the microphone's supposed to be used. And I forgot to mention, I do have the mic level set up to minus 10 in camera. And I also turned off the uh, volume limiter and wind noise reduction. So I didn't want anything uh, I didn't want the camera to interfere with the sound any more than it has to. Uh, but hopefully this sounds much better. I think, um, you know, the cord is just long enough. I mean, it's hard to see probably, but the uh, cord is just long enough. I can hold it out at arm's length without it interfering or dangling anywhere in the way. And uh, if I wanted to stop and take a picture, um, you know, I, I, it's not going to interfere with that either. So if the sound is a hundred times better with it like this, I might recommend just vlogging this way, you know, with the microphone attached to my shirt or to your shirt instead of to the top of the camera, because there's a couple of problems when I uh, attach it to the camera. And I haven't talked about this yet, but the camera's internal body stabilization, the sensor shift is... Uh, makes a little bit of a humming noise. And that's the reason I put the foam on top of the camera that I clipped the mic onto, because I was trying to reduce that hum, because when I cook the mic directly into the camera, uh, the humming noise was just overbearing. And uh, I'll give you a sample of that here in a minute, but. I think even with the airplane above, hopefully the sound is still good. Uh, because when you're vlogging, there is usually a lot of ambient noise, particularly if you're vlogging in the city somewhere. So you want to be able to have a setup that's going to still sound decent in that kind of environment. Okay, so I'm in the uh, Grainy One art filter uh, while I'm in movie mode and with the pinhole effect. And, uh, you know, I was watching a review of the Pen F actually uh, by the camera store and What's his name? Chris Nichols, <laughs> that guy. Uh, I love all their videos, but um, he was he was uh, putting down the art filters. He said nobody uses them, but I think if you're really a creative person, these uh, art filters built into the camera are pretty awesome. I mean, I'm not the most creative person, but look at this place I'm in here. You know, if you're a creative person, you would uh, you would rock in this place. I think and really do some amazing uh, photography. So um, anyway, let's try some other art filters and see what uh, I can get. All right, now I'm using the uh, vintage art filter. And wow, you know, looking at this on the back of the screen <laughs> uh, really brings back some memories when from the, my old home movies from when I was a kid that my uh, dad took. And uh, I, I don't know how Olympus does it. These art filters are actually can be a lot of fun I think so if you get the PL8 or any Olympus camera you know try these art filters out they're pretty cool especially in video mode look at this I love this let me just pan around a bit you know really really nice I like this I could uh, I think I'm gonna start making some videos <laughs> start vlogging more because these art filters rock. Okay, I've switched over to the Boya mic and I'm going to be walking up here to this uh, 
battery of cannons or where they would normally be if there were cannons there uh, but you know it's the the wind has picked up quite a bit especially when I'm coming up on this uh, this ledge here I think at uh, there's quite a bit of wind you know maybe you can see it on my hair uh, despite all the hair products I have in my head right now but this is kind of cool I'm gonna crawl up here and see what we can see Okay, so now I'm using the e-portrait mode uh, in the movie mode and just wanted to see how this looks if it, uh, if it helps because, you know, vlogging really is uh, just doing portrait mode all the time, right? <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to uh, get some video with the in-camera mic just so you can hear how it sounds. I have that level also set to negative 10 and, uh, you know, now there's a plane coming to give us some ambient noise to see how this camera handles it. But uh, I'm just about done for the day. And, uh, you know, I, I got an easily a solid hour of taking pictures and doing video. And the battery indicator still hasn't come on yet. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think if I put a fresh battery in, uh, the way I'm using it, I can probably get, you know, an uh, hour, hour and a half as a minimum before I start, you know, breaking a sweat about the battery right but I did bring three batteries with me today the one in the camera which I didn't know how much charge was left and then two full batteries so I uh, apologize I didn't get a good read on battery life today but I'll do that next time but the main thing is I wanted to see how sharp this lens is and use it to take some real photos out here uh, for you guys on my Olympus Pen PLA Thanks again for watching.